Hello everyone and welcome to Upside Down. Today is going to be the first episode of learning how to create optimized grass inside Unreal 4. First we are going to use 3ds Max to create our grass and after that we are going to bake our textures. If you are not a Max user of course you can use other 3D software to create everything but you are not going to be able to follow the first way that I am showing for baking textures. Of course you are going to be able to follow the second one where we are going to use Substance Painter. Now let's roll the intro. So first thing we're gonna start by making uh, one part of the grass. I'm going to use a cylinder for that and then we are going to shape it uh, a little bit more to look like grass. So I'm just going to make a cylinder and I'm going to leave the height segments on five but side segments we don't need uh, that many so I'm just going to put it Let's say six, I think it's going to be all right. Um, high segment, I'll make it four. And then we are going to convert it to a tall poly. <laughs> Grab the top. So the tip, we are going to make it very, very uh, sharp, like almost pointy one, but uh, still not everything gonna be collapsed because the grass it doesn't really go into one point. It's like tapering there and we are anyway going to smooth it out later. And then I'm going to do a little bit like this on the lower sides as well, just so we have a better shape for our grass. This is one leaf that we are making. And now I'm just going to put everything like almost flat. I'll make it like this. And what I'm going to do is delete the bottom because we are going to put a turbo smooth. If we don't delete the bottom, it's going to uh, round it over here. We don't really want to do that. So now we have one piece from our grass. I'm going to edit the shape a little bit more. And uh, what we're gonna do is I'm going to put an FFD three by three by three. So here on the control points, I'm just going to move it a little bit the way that I want so we can make let's say, something like this and then we can clone this a couple of more times so that we get uh, different variations for the grass. Now that we have a couple of different versions of uh, the gra grass leaves, I'm going to start placing them next to each other. So we are going to just grab one version and after that we are going to place it to a position that we think looks fine. This and I'm going to start cloning by holding shift and after that moving it. So the idea is I'll make a few different uh, patches here. So we are going to have one which is going to be more long and also in the middle is going to be much higher and then on the sides is going to become lower and we are going to have one which is going to be uh, a little bit more spread to the side but everything is going to go into like one place. The idea is to have a couple of different versions so once we have the final texture to have a different variations so that we can scatter them around and it will make the grass feel a little bit better. So the reason why I made a first row and then a second one is that this is going to be in one square texture. So 
This way I can have already everything arranged correctly. And now I just need to create uh, a plane on which we are going to project everything. And after that from there, we are going to make our texture. For projecting, there are a few ways that you can go. First one is going to be, if you're using 3ds Max, you can go with Render to Texture or the new Bake to Texture. And there you can bake the Fuse, Albedo or Normal Map, everything all together. And after that, use them as you want for your texturing software. Or another way that you can do it is go into Substance Painter and bake everything there. And then we can even play a little bit with the texturing. So we can put some gradients and some other things. I'll quickly show you one trick inside 3ds Max, where if you don't want to bother going and doing textures, you can bake absolutely everything inside 3ds Max and after that export it directly to Unreal. First thing we need to do is just open 3ds Max Material Editor. I'm going to drag and drop one PBR material. And here we are going to search for a gradient. I'm going to take this simple gradient and put it into base color. Go into options. You can see that there's at the moment quite a lot of uh, layers. We don't really need that many. So I'm going to delete uh, and leave just three of them. So now we can select all the assets, just assign our material and go back to our gradient. And what we need to do is put a UVW map now we are going to rotate everything into the UVW mapping so that the gradient goes from the bottom to the top. So this means that I need to rotate it 90 degrees. Once we have a gradient with which we are happy, we can just tweak the colors a little bit. So we are going to go first one. I'm making it, this is like the very tip of our leaves. So we are making it something uh, a little bit lighter green. Then on the next one, it's going to be more saturated. And the last one is going to be the darkest of them all. So we can go like this. And another thing that we can remove is uh, the reflections because for baking those, we don't really need it. And now we can also just copy the same gradient. I'm going to convert everything to editable poly and select only the bottom one, paste it. And we can move our gradient downward so that we have it on our lower bigger batch of grass as well and we have everything done inside 3ds max you have a nice gradient we can even add a little bit more different colors if you would like and make it even more details you can always do that now that we have our gradient done i'm just going to create a plane on which we are going to bake everything so initially i'm making it one meter by one meter just to be sure that everything is square and then we can scale it down a little bit and adjust it. And then we need to move it a little bit on Y so that it goes behind our grass. And now you can see how everything is going to be projected. Okay, we have everything set up. So now when I'm having our plane selected, I'm just going to click zero and then bake to texture. We can select from the list what exactly we would like to bake. So in my case, I would like an ambient occlusion as well. We would like a diffuse. And of course, the most important one is going to be normals. So now we need to set up our maps. So first thing, we need to pick what exactly to be projected. So here from the drop down that it says self, we can click and pick from list. It's going to bring us our 3ds Max list. So I'm going to select all, add it, and everything is done for this projection. We are going to use UVW channel one. We are going to bake everything on 2K. For padding, I'm going to leave it as default on 2. And for file type, I'm going to save everything on TGA. We are doing the same for the diffuse. Pick from the list, or we can already use the projection that we have here. Again, we're gonna move it to TGA. And we are doing the same for the last one, our normal map. And once everything is done, we just need to select where exactly we want to save our images. And we are ready to click bake. Now that we got our textures baked, I want to show you the second method, go and do everything inside Substance. So there, what we're going to do, I'm going to export exactly the same plane. First, I'm going to convert it to Editable Poly. And then for second part, we are going to convert to Editable Poly our grass. I'm going to hide everything which is not selected, just to be on the safe side. And after that, I'm going to attach everything into one mesh. Now we can just export it as an FBX. And after that, we're going to use it as a high poly for baking. Once we are in Substance, we just go and make a new file. I'm going to bake it again on 2K. And for a file, we are going to select our plane. Since everything is set up, I'm going to click OK. And we have already our plane in the scene. Now we are going to Texture and Settings. 
then we are scrolling down and going to bake mesh maps and here in high definition meshes we are going to select the grass and here on the front distance we are going to increase it so that we have everything captured in the scene and then we are just going to bake our textures before starting doing the textures i am just going to add one new channel and this is going to be opacity so we can make uh, alpha mask as well and now we are going back to layers i'm going to delete this one and we are going to add one few layer First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make a mask for our opacity. I'm going to make a black mask layer and then we are going to use one of the colors that we have. So I'm just going to pick the red one. This way we easily created a mask and now this mask we can export it as a texture and then we can use it for our opacity. So what I'm going to do is right click and export max to file. Then we are going to import our mask into texture. Here I'm just clicking to be a texture and then we are going to make it for the current project. Now what we can do is come down here, scroll all the way down to opacity and then just drag and drop our mask. After adding the mask here you can see that nothing changed. This is because of two things. First is that we need to put our material here, not to be the default one but also we need to have the one which is with alpha blend. And second thing is that we need to remove the mask from our layer. So if I right click it and remove mask, you will see that now we have everything working correctly. Now we can already start with our texturing. So we are going to need some base color and we are going to start again from something greenish. And on top of this layer, of course, we can add new one for the next layer. I'm just going to remove so that it doesn't affect our opacity, but it affects our colors. So what I can do is remove metallic roughness, normal and height as well, just we need color. I'm going to make it something a little bit darker than the one that we had before. And I'm going to right click, create new mask, and then we are going to fill with paint. Now when I'm painting, you can see that we are adding some color in. And I'm going to use one of the brushes, for example, the dirt one. And just going to paint here from the very bottom a little bit like this. And then one more thing that we're going to do, because you can see that at the moment everything is very harsh. So I'm just going to right click. And after that, I'm going to add a filter. And we are going to add blur and increase the intensity to get something that we like, something like that. And then what we can do as well, which is something that inside 3ds Max, for example, we are limited, we can play with the reflections. So I can add a new layer, remove everything except our roughness. And then at the moment you can see that we can start tweaking how uh, reflective our material is going to be but what we can also do is just we can use some of the smart masks and get some nice effect very easily and quickly so for example we can grab some of the dirt dusty ones and you can see that now we have a little bit of a variation in our reflections or also what we can do is make paint layer and then go with the brush and of course we can tweak it the way that we like it so we can add a little bit more variation for example we can make it less reflective here on the bottom and then we can have more roughness on the top and this is something which is completely up to you to tweak it the way that you like it subscribe so that you don't miss second part which is coming very soon where i'm going to import everything create as custom lods and show you how exactly we are going to optimize everything inside unreal 4 when it goes in distance thank you for watching see you next time